next. Here is Joseph Dave. Adam, I'll tell you, if you were thinking about golf this weekend, it's probably not going to happen. Oh, is that right? You're okay. Gonna, you're probably going to take, unless you want to golf in the rain. I have a lot <laughs> of rain rolling in as we get into the weekend. Today was a nice day to do it, though. Uh, we had temperatures today in the mid-70s. Wonderful day to be outside. And we're going to keep those temperatures going into tomorrow. In fact, I think we'll be a good five degrees warmer around you know, Portland, some of the surrounding communities as we get into tomorrow afternoon. Normal high 78. We were actually a few degrees below our average uh, where we typically are at this time of the year. All right, so for tomorrow, we're going to start off with a cool morning. Temperatures in the lower 50s, calm breeze, nice sunny sky. We do warm up pretty quick. By the time we get into the afternoon, we're going to be pushing about 80 degrees at 3 p.m. And then I'm expecting some more clouds starting to kind of find a way into the forecast as we head into the evening hours because a little disturbance that's going to move in late Tuesday night into Wednesday. Busy graphic, okay? But I do want to mention a couple things. Our normal final 80 degree, degree day is usually the end of September. There's been a few years, it's been before that. In 2019, just a couple years ago, we had our last 80 degree day, which would have been yesterday on September 12th. Last year, we made it to October. So keep that in mind, we're starting to transition from that summer to those fall-like conditions, and sometimes it just comes pretty quick. So I don't think this Tuesday is going to be our final 80-degree day. I still have some hope that we'll warm up again after this weekend. All right, satellite in radar, northwest flow. Here's some clouds to the northwest. We had to go all the way out here uh, to see the disturbance that's going to impact us by the time we get into Friday, you can see the Aleutian Islands here and it's kind of the Bering Sea and it's really close to that. So it's going to take this track and eventually it's going to find a way here to the Pacific Northwest. Not tomorrow, not Tuesday, not Wednesday, and you won't have to worry about it as we head into Thursday. But uh, we'll get close to that uh, as we head into Friday. Here's Tuesday's weak disturbance, some clouds, maybe some light rain there. Uh, not a lot going on though, but moisture definitely for those complexes that are uh, burning in the Cascades. We get to Wednesday morning. We're pretty clear. I think we stay fairly dry on Wednesday and sunny and that goes for Thursday. But then here comes Friday's event and it looks like it starts nudging in as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. Here is 9 p.m. Still some very heavy rain there for areas of the northwest Oregon coast. Doesn't quite reach us in Portland yet. So we get to late Friday night. It sags right over the top of us. Here's Saturday morning. Plenty of moisture, a lot of rain, and those rain totals are going to continue to grow as we head through our Saturday morning. I'll show you the forecast rain totals as we head into at least Friday night and potentially into Saturday morning there. I'll stop it at 2 a.m. Look at that. I mean, that's already to about a half an inch. Some weather models a bit more than that. Through the weekend, it is definitely possible that we break over an inch of rain. So I think uh, we have some very uh, good soaking rain on the way. 80 tomorrow, 71 on Wednesday, Thursday, 74, 65 on Friday. And then we keep the 60s there through the weekend. A cool and wet weekend coming. All right, we'll be back after the break.